Hi there and welcome to this IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series video. And in this video I'm going to show you how to change your server config once you've actually um, provisioned your, your virtual machine. Um, so what can you actually do? Um, well you can update the vCPU count and the, uh, and the RAM configuration and in doing this what you're effectively doing is changing the um, type of machine that you have. So for instance, uh, so far you've seen me provisioning um, servers with one VP, one V CPU, and one gigabyte of RAM. What you're actually, what you're actually doing when you change uh, the configuration is changing another machine flavor. So, for instance, one with four CPUs and four gigabytes of RAM. But again, you get to choose the uh, from the entire range of different configurations. The next thing you can do is add or remove attached storage. So um, you'll always have at least one drive attached to your server, which will be the root volume, which will contain the operating system, and you can have up to four more. Um, which are basically uh, the mounted volumes. Um, obviously, you can't exceed the uh, the limit of, of five, um, but you can add more um, up to the number of five in changing the configuration of your server. And uh, the third thing you can actually do is actually schedule when the update is executed. So um, you might be wanting to uh, to make a change, uh, but perhaps because your machine is is doing something useful or it's uh, you know, it's the middle of the day and, and it's in production use um, and there's a quieter time in the evening when you can perhaps take it down. Um, you can actually schedule it to, to um, actually carry out the change later in the day. So that's a, a really useful thing to be able to do as well. So I'm going to switch through to the, to the IBM Cloud Console in a second um, where I'm going to actually show you the screens uh, where you can actually do all this stuff. Right, so here I am in the IBM Cloud Console. I'm actually looking at a virtual machine that I've, uh, I've, I've created um, a couple of days ago. Um, it's actually my provisioning script server, um, which I used in, in one of the previous labs. So you can see this is a, a fairly basic server. It's a CentOS machine, and it's the, uh, the C1 1x1x25 service. This means it's got one vCPU and uh, one gigabyte of RAM. Um, it's all very ordinary. There's nothing particularly exciting about it. Um, but if I actually wanted to upgrade this and give it some more um, and give it some more vCPU or RAM, then all I need to do is press this button here. So I'm on the configuration tab. Uh, so just to make sure I'm there. And uh, if I then click this modify device configuration button, then it's here that I can actually uh, perform the uh, the upgrade. So I can I can either so so here with the modification details. It's, just you know, confirming what device I'm talking about and where it is and the IP address. Um, so this modify window. So um, now with with this, I, I need my machine needs to reboot for me to actually um, uh, affect the changes. So I can either do do it immediately. So I can press this button uh, or check this box here, or I can actually choose a date. So let's choose. So I can say today, and then I can uh, choose a time. So uh, um, so it's currently three o'clock here. So again, I can uh, I can I can change the uh, change the actual time and it then automatically reboots at this particular time. Um, because this isn't a production machine, I'm going to do this immediately. But obviously, if it, if it is being used for something, then you may want to uh, uh, schedule it at a time when the server's down or you've you've got another one in place. So in the next one, I can choose to change my system configuration. So um, so I can again choose from all the different configurations that were available beforehand. Um, so I'm going to stick with compute, um, but let's say I'm going to um, upgrade this to a, a 4x4, so it's 4 CPUs and 4 gig of RAM. So I've got my 25 gig of, of disk on the first, and then I can have up to 4 secondary disks. So obviously uh, because I'm changing this, the cost is actually going to go up. Um, so then if I want to add secondary disks, um, if I want to change my, my... I can't actually change the first disk, um, but I can change the... Uh, some secondary disk. So, so again, if I wanted to add a, a second disk, let's have a 10 gig secondary disk there, just to uh, just to show it. And um, I can also change the uh, the network options as well. So, if I wanted to change my uh, my my uplinks, um, then I can I can choose to do so here. I'm just going to stick with that there. And then again, if I want to put in some notes, so uh, so let me just put in here. So upgrade server. Um, due to increased use, let's say increased usage. So let's put a note in there, and uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, so the next thing that I just need to do is uh, I just just need to uh, confirm the changes uh, or, or 
look at the changes, make sure they're what I want to do. And then all I need to do is press continue. There we go. So um, now there's an, another page here where I just need to uh, confirm what I've done. So um, if I've got any promo codes, I can I can add those in there and then do a recalculate. So from time to time, you can get promo codes. Um, and then um, you just need to uh, double check everything here. Um, so uh, what charges there are for the order, um, what flavor you're changing to the first disc, the second disc, um, and and um, some notes there as well. The modify windows, so I'm going to do this immediately, but uh, if I was running this in production or I wanted to delay it to a, to a quarter time, um, then, I, then I can do that as well. Just need to double check that I've read the, uh, the master service agreement and agree to the terms, and then all I need to do is press the place order button. Okay, there we go. So it's been successfully submitted and uh, it's now going to the order team and uh, it'll probably just take a few minutes for that machine to, to provision. So I'll just pause the video there for now. Okay, so that took about two or three minutes. Um, the machine's obviously now back up and you can see here that the uh, the flavour is now a 4x4, four four, so four vCPUs and four gig of RAM. Um, if I go over to storage now, um, you can see that um, I've got a disk two. Um, and that's 10 gig, um, that's obviously what we provisioned. If I click the actions page, you can then see um, if I want to um, detach it or cancel it, I can do that fairly easily. Um, I can also swap them around, that kind of thing. But, um, but basically that's it. Um, so, so very quickly, um, you can see that I've uh, managed to upgrade my machine and um, it's, it's pretty simple to do. Okay, and that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.